It is another beautiful day in Ohio, and it is back-to-back time. My 2020, my 2023.5 KTM 450 Factory Edition, all stock, except for my favorite pair of cone valves, old school cone valves. Had those for a couple years now. And Brad at RideWorks just redid my stock rear shock, put a bladder kit, and redid the valves. I want a more comfort, comfy for a slow vet guy that I can ride off-road, kind of a GNCC GP stuff, and then some slow vet moto. He nailed the setting. I really like this bike. Here is a Stark Varg, 80 horsepower. This one's actually sprung for, I think, 167 to 178. I'm 190, and it feels like it's got plenty of springs for me. I don't even know what the numbers are and everything, but that's what it's sprung for. Anyhow, I'm running this today. I've been playing around with the maps. We have a 45 horsepower map I'll probably use. I'm going to do the woods loop now. So we'll do them back to back. We'll start out on the base. This is the base model, we'll call it. Kind of our base setting. Put this thing in neutral. I'm going to run map one. Since we're going in the woods, map one traction control on. This thing is 60 horsepower but we'll take it on a woods loop. This KTM 450 engine is so controllable. Smooth power, you can roll it on. Probably the easiest 60 horsepower 450 motorbike there is to ride, as far as engine control. Clutch pull is easy. And, whoop, this bike is fairly agile. It's pretty agile in this wood stuff. Of course, it's a big old 450 full-on motorbike, but I like my bikes to do a little bit of everything, so that's why I had Brad redo the rear shock, so I can get a little more comfort, more of a cross-country setting, I guess. A little trials ride in there. Now, this is where the Varg, because you don't have to do mess with the clutch. It's just throttle and brakes. Although I guess if I put a put a uh, recluse in this, it'd kind of like be the same way. But this thing runs so clean and smooth, it's not really a big deal. A crop of it slip on. It's got a spark arrestor in it. It's actually very quiet. <laughs> I love these. Listen, this engine's so smooth. Roll it. Gotta make sure you can stop. But like second gear here just just pulled so good. Then you get in the open, you can let it rip. You gotta love those 450 power. 24602. 246 flat. All right, 46. Old school. Let's try electric. Now, turn it on. Map 4 is 45 horsepower. So, uh, 46 flat. We'll see what we can do. Throttle. Go. Whoa. Yeah, so easy. Now, this is a kind of a moto suspension setting, so I've opened the clickers up quite a bit. But it's KYB, so they respond. And it's got high and low compression and high and low rebound on the shock. It's still firm and controlled, but it's quite rideable. Oh, it's so funny to, it's so quiet. 
you hear the tires just crawling for traction. Hit an edge there. Yeah, you hear them just, the tires just kind of skidding. These Brembo brakes are strong. Now this has the rear foot brake. It'd be kind of cool to try the handbrake. My free ride has that. Of course, mountain bikes have it, but kind of makes it easy to jump on this bike and go. This is where that front end, this thing just changes directions like it doesn't fight you in the corners at all. It's effortless. Now you feel mass because there is 260 pounds, but mostly just under stopping, but like like laying it over and stuff. It feels good. Man, it just it just threads so quick. Instant torque. Brembo brakes. The ergos feel good to me. The bars are the ends of them. Kind of a I don't know, I guess we're running Pro Taper. They're a little different shape, but I like them actually. Pegs are good. Whoa. I'm gonna make sure I can stop. You just roll in. Whoa. It carries so much. Just build speed instantly. But super easy. No. That left hand is just holding on. No clutch. This is only 45 horsepower. Feels like way more. 42.95, 43. Okay, on a woods loop, where you're ripping in tight. Yeah, three seconds quicker. Okay, think about it. This is it. The motor's rotating right here. A small little electric motor. It's in the center of gravity. That's the only rotation inertia force you're fighting. I think corner's amazing. This, there's some mass. It's distributed better than the Alta I had. Boom, there it goes. Everything works. Great pegs, super good brakes. It's just so easy. You can dial the maps, whatever power you want. This one, classic. We got a crankshaft here, we got a clutch here, we got transmission gears here, we got a camshaft, we got a piston going up and down, we got a Conrad rocking back and forth. There's a lot of inertia stuff going on there. So you will feel that in the corners but this bike is a good 25 20 25 pounds lighter but it's so smooth 60 horsepower super smooth these are really two fun bikes two thumbs up for another fun back to back ice versus battery